Good afternoon everyone, this is Steve KI5JUF again. Hope everyone's having a good day. Uh, this is a continuation of a series of vid videos that I'm working on discussing uh, mic gain, processor, mic equalizer, and so forth for the ASU 991A. Uh, what, I'm what I'm doing is I'm trying to take a little deeper dive into some of the background on why these settings are important. Uh, particularly where it comes to signal quality, uh, voice quality, uh, getting through on pileups and things, and, and kind of showing you some background of, of, you know, what do these settings actually do for me as the user. So th this is a part two of a video. In part one, which I'll link in this video, in case you haven't seen this, I go over single sideband. We talk about modulation on an oscilloscope. We also discuss uh, modulation again, and we discuss the spectrum analyzer and what the frequency looks like between clean frequency and uh, bleed over. Um, so we'll we'll keep going and also talk about the different configurations of the speech processor and uh, and so forth. So this is in part one, and I'll put the link. But what we'll actually do now is we're actually going to set the uh, speech process or the microphone uh, gain for a uh, single sideband. Now the way we're going to do that is first we're going to use a dummy load which I also covered this in the first video. This is from MFJ. Camera here for a second. I called it wrong in the first video. It's actually an MFJ-267. So this here actually is a dual purpose device. It can be an inline SWR slash power meter or it can be a dummy load. What makes it different is in the back you actually have a switch. So if you wish to run it as a dummy load you can just leave power off and it's just a 50 ohm load and it doesn't really need any of the power. If you want to run it uh, from a DC power, if you want to run it as an antenna inline SWR antenna meter, then you would need to use the optional. There is a plug that comes with it that you would need to provide 12 volts for. Now what the 12 volts does essentially is it will turn on the electronics behind the board. It will also light up the display so that you can actually uh, use it as a uh, inline SWR meter or you can use it as a dummy load depending on where you put the switch. So for now we're going to put this back here and we got that from our friends at DX Engineering. Uh, that's where we pick that up. So also on our switches, I've showed you this before, I've got the power or this, the HF signal from the ASU coming in here. I have the 10 meter connection going to here for the antenna and I also have a 6 meter antenna and then I have number 3 which goes to the dummy load so we've got that switched to position number 3 for the dummy load alright so now we'll move over to the radio try to get this right here, now there's my little DX engineering thing I like those guys, they seem to be pretty good I, uh, I've had some experience with other Am shops that haven't been quite as good, but that's okay. These guys seem to be good, and uh, they actually sent me some extra stickers so I can actually, um, actually, kind of try to promote them because they, they they do a pretty good job. All right, so we'll focus in on the radio. So the steps to setting the uh, the steps to setting the microphone gain. Are, what we'll do is we need to go to HF mode. Right now we're in repeater mode or memory mode, so I'm going to press the VM. Now what the VM is going to do is that's going to take me from memory, which is M, back to VFO. So when I press this, notice what happens. Now we're in VFO mode. Now we are transmitting to the dummy load. So the first thing we'll do is we will tap on this particular button here, the meter button, and what we're going to do is when we do this, this this meter right here is going to scroll through different variations or configurations. So we're going to press ID, 
this is the uh, power that's on the radio. This is actually your transmit power. And this is what we're looking for, automatic limiting control. Now what the procedure tells us to do is leave this in ALC. Then what we're going to do is we're going to press the mode and we're going to go into upper sideband. Then what we're going to do is we're going to press band and I'm going to enter, for example, uh, press enter again, 028400. Uh, zero, zero. It's calling frequency, but we're talking into a dummy load, so it doesn't really matter. So we're at upper sideband and we're at 28400. Then what we're going to do is we're going to press the FM list, which will bring up, uh, excuse me, uh, function and then memory list. So if I press this button quickly, it will bring up the functions. Press it again, clears it. If I press and hold it, it's going to bring up the memory channels. So it just kind of gives you an overview. So we're going to press it quickly. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look for the setting called mic gain. There it is right there. Uh, that's micro that's an equalizer. There it is, mic gain. Right now I have the mic gain set to 30. So what I'm going to do is when I press the mic gain button, this will change from memory channel, which is what it's in right now. See if I turn that we go to the memory channels. If I just wait a second, it'll clear. But what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and go to mic gain and when I touch this watch what happens up here the mic gain actually populates up here and you'll notice a graph will appear across it alright now what's happened is the mic gain is active and now we have control of the mic gain with the multifunction knob so now what we do is we want to talk into the microphone at normal voice peaks we want to go up to about half scale. So let me talk a minute about the microphone. This is the microphone that we use. This is a M100. But what I do on single sideband is these are the buttons. I have the low cut turned on and the ceramic and the dynamic. But let me show you something about this microphone. It comes with this little guy. We've done some radio tests locally and what we found is this actually is a shroud that goes over this here and what that does is that helps push your voice more directly into the microphone for more of a sharper tintier sound if you will this option here is more for FM so if I'm speaking on the repeater I'll take this off but if I'm on sideband uh, I will definitely use this so next what we do we'll go back to the radio Try this again here. There we go. Good friends at DX Engineering. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to, we've got the mic gain active. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this screen. But notice the mic gain still stays active and I still have control over it. But we'll bring the screen back just so we can see the actual number. So what it tells us to do is to adjust the mic gain until we get about half scale deflections and by the way I'm at 100 watts right now is where my power is but I'm going into the dummy look so we'll do that real quick so I'm going to go ahead and transmit we're going into the dummy load Kilo India 5 Juliet Uniform Foxtrot calling CQ 10 meters CQ 10 meters Kilo India 5 Juliet Uniform Foxtrot calling CQ 10 meter and listening Kilo India 5 Juliet Uniform Foxtrot calling CQ 10 meters CQ 10 meters and listening Kilo India 5 Juliet Uniform Foxtrot alright that looks pretty good we're going about half scale up to mid to half scale I guess is uh, up to half scale deflections so that looks good now we're done on that so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set the processor so to set the processor, now this is one thing you'll need to learn on your, your, your Yesu. 
Right now the multifunction knob has control of the mic gain because it's up here. But if I press MCH, that'll clear. Now what we're going to do is we're going to locate the processor. Processor right there. So when I touch processor, watch what happens. Now the processor's up there. But what we have to do is now is we have to change this meter from automatic limiting control to COMP. There's COMP. So I'm going to turn off the processor. And I'll, the reason is I'm going to show you something. When I turn off the processor, watch this graph here. Nothing's going to happen. Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot, testing CQ. Now, I'm going to turn the processor on. I have to press it twice to make it active. Once. Oh, there it is. I'm sorry. It's active anyway on one. Now the processor is shown up here, but it's also shown here. So when I adjust here, watch up here. See how it changes? So the ideal here is we want to talk into the microphone at a normal voice level, but we want to swing between 5 to 10 dB. So let's see what we got. Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform Foxtrot calling CQ 10 meters, CQ 10 meters. Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform Foxtrot calling CQ 10 meter and listening. Okay, we're about where we need to be. That's my timer. I'm trying to shorten up the video a little bit, but that's pretty much it. We'll go back and do it one more time just so you can see it. Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform Foxtrot. Now if I turn the gain processor way up too high, Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform Foxtrot calling CQ 10 meters, CQ 10 meters. Kilo India 5, Juliet, see how it's going way too high, so we're going to turn it down. Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform Foxtrot calling CQ 10 meters. Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform Foxtrot calling CQ 10 meter and listening. There's your normal voice peaks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're between 5 and 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, the processor is now set. So what we're going to do is we're going to clear the processor from the multi-channel function key. Now we're normal again. Okay, those are the two things I wanted to cover. Again, the microphone gain and the processor. So in the next video, we'll talk about the equalizer and the settings with the processor on and the processor off. So that's all for this video. Uh, also, I am preparing Word documents or PDF documents on all these uh, videos I'm doing. So if you're interested, just go to my YouTube channel and email me. And I'll be more than happy to send you a PDF of the instructional notes. Because what I've started doing now is I'm preparing individual Word documents for each one of these videos. This way I'm able to focus because on the previous document I had like 30 pages and I was jumping all over the place. But this will give me a much better narrative and focus and also won't be quite as rushed. So uh, that's the idea. Okay, so from KI5JUF, have a wonderful day, a wonderful Saturday. Uh, and we hope to we'll be back again with some more videos in 73 and have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.